Hi guys, good night. Hi. Hey, Ale, how are you? Hey, sir. How are you, sir? Hey. Yeah, very good. Very good. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you? that. Thank you, teacher. How about you? I'm okay with a lot of energy. Yeah. <laughs> As always. As always. <laughs> As always. But it's really hot, you know, at least here. I don't know where you are, but it's yeah. really hot. Yeah. What, I have, what happened yeah, with Lulu? Where is are. she? What is Lulu? She is playing outside. Oh, <laughs> She's on. playing outside oh, with my Lulu. brother, I think. <laughs> with your mama? Oh. I miss her. Well, Chestnut is not mm. here either, so he's playing maybe. Mm. But as soon as I finish the classes and I open the door, he's like jumping mm. and say, hey, mommy. <laughs> he's like yeah. that, you know, I, I love him. He misses you. <laughs> what? He misses miss you. Yeah, you both of them. And they start barking because Chestnut wants, wants to get all the attention and Whiskey like mm. trying to like, like, hey, get out from here i i also <laughs> want to say hi yeah. but you know what there were like a different sizes <laughs> so whiskey had to like jump in to get attention and to say hey mommy i'm music <laughs> too uh, i'm just happy yeah. about it yeah so i i i wait until i see them again my husband closed the door because they don't it, uh he doesn't want me to more than want them to interrupt me so that's why oh, yeah. but i don't care i love them <laughs> but they never interrupt you. And no, it's because they are really. They really never interrupt you. Well, sometimes they do. For example, Chestnut came in, and I have a little, like a little, um, what can I say, a table where I put my well, my mm. laptop, my camera, and all the stuff. So there's a space above, like a hole there, right? Uh -huh. And uh, is is the one that you use it like a mobile table that you use to put your computer and all the stuffs? So chestnut, yeah, uh, tried to get into, and I slip under. So he's like moving all yes. and all move my feet and everything and move with the chair. Where am I? So mm -hmm. sometimes he does, but he oh, wants to be with me. We didn't That's notice. Crazy. Yeah, of course. Because I was like, if you if you notice that I'm moving like this, it's because Chestnut <laughs> is right about me, okay? <laughs> Marianita, hey, I'm so happy that you came early today. Hi, teacher. Hey, isn't it amazing? Yes. Hi. <laughs> miracle. Yeah. yeah, no, yes, because it's not it's not saying that it's a miracle that you've been in heart and class. No, it's a miracle that you've been early because of your job. Yes, mm -hmm. but I'm here. <laughs> I'm yes, to and me too. I'm so happy, like Marianita, because most of the time, and uh, the first one that arrives are like Alejandro, Janet, right? That now you, so that's good, yes. excellent. I'm so happy. And what happened, Marianita, that you arrived early? The traffic was um, no. I had time today. <laughs> had time. That's I amazing. My work early. Oh, that's amazing. So I'm so happy to have you here because today, guys, we're going to develop, we will continue with the to yesterday's topic, but we're going to develop uh, different skills today, okay? So basically, today we're going to focus okay. on the listening part, which is I know that is, we have been giving like in, in the whole model, guys, if you notice, we have been giving too much attention uh, to, in, the, in the listening part because it's one of the skills that is really hard to develop. So today we're going to focus not only to the intonation of complex sentences, but at the same time, we're going to focus on the details information on listening, okay? And then of course, guys, always the speaking part. The speaking part for me is important because I want you to like come fluently when speaking, okay? So first of all, guys, uh, when, when we're talking about using past continuous and simple past, it's because those verbs we use it to tell story tales and to make complex sentences, okay? But that's, when you make a complex sentence, uh, the, the big sentence is divided in two classes. 
the, the class part for the past continuous and the class part for the simple past. But I want you to notice that each part of the complex sentence has a specific intonation. So first of all, what I want you to notice, I'm going to play just the audio guys, and I just want you to pay attention on what they are saying, okay? They will say about two sentences, and maybe you didn't notice where the intonation goes down, because right now in each sentence, the intonation goes down a little bit, but maybe you're not going to notice that on the first time that you're listening. The second time, I'm going to share the sentences with you, and I will play the audio one more time, and you will be able to listen and at the same time reading, and then you're going to figure it out where you need to put the intonation, okay? So are you ready for the party? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Let the party start right now, guys. So allow me just a couple of minutes because I have to switch here. One thing. There you go. Okay, cool. That's the one that I need. <laughs> All right, guys. That's what I need. Okay. Let me share right now my screen with you. Don't worry if you do not understand everything. Okay. This is the first time that you're listening to this. So then I will send it to you the sentences. Yeah, but just listen. This is small sentences. Exercise four, pronunciation. Intonation in complex sentences. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how each clause in a complex sentence has its own intonation pattern. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. All right. There you go. You understood something, right? Something. Hey, Bea, yeah, you came something. in a really good time. Today we're developing, Bea, a how to make complex sentences. And we're using, of course, past continuous with a simple past. And right now, Bea, I had just put a listening activity, which is helps you to determine that even though we're going to use the two bird tenses to make a huge sentence, of course, but each part of the sentence has its own intonation. So right now, maybe you got some idea about what they're talking about. But right now, I'm gonna share with you guys the, the sentences that you have heard, and then I will play the audio one more time. And this time, I want you to read and at the same time, listen, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share it right now with you and just let me know guys as soon as you receive it. With me for a couple of minutes. I just send it. Hey, one seat to the best. Vane, Mr. Ivan, woohoo, it's amazing. Okay, guys, we're going to wait. Okay, welcome uh, Vanessa, Ivan and Juancito. Please guys, do me a favor. Try to open your WhatsApp. I just sent it to you, but we're about to listen, okay? We're about to listen to complex stories or two complex sentences that will help you um, double check the intonation of simple past and past continuous, the verb tenses that we are uh, seeing right now. And I want you guys to notice of the pronunciation of each part of the sentence, okay? So I'm gonna play the audio one more time. Are you guys ready? Is everybody ready? Yeah? Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, that's the spirit that I need. Come on. All right. Energy. All righty. Okay, guys. So have uh, your list sentences ready. Okay. All right. Let me play it one more time. Here you go. Then we're going to practice the uh, pronunciation for each sentence. Page 23, Exercise 4, Pronunciation. Intonation in Complex Sentences. Part A. Listen and Practice. Notice how each clause in a complex sentence has its own intonation pattern. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. Okay. You want it one more time? 
Yeah, yes. Yes. yeah. I no, 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 no. One more time. Yes, yes. or no? All right. Yes. Yes. All right. Oh my goodness! But you're gonna like make me feel like you're going to lose my ear or something like that. All right. Page twenty-three. Exercise four. Pronunciation. Intonation in complex sentences. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how each clause in a complex sentence has its own intonation pattern. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. Very good. Okay, let's practice a pronunciation, guys. Mr. Ivan, welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the class, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys. So let's practice, okay? Let's practice. I want to hear you guys about the pronunciation. Okay, who's going to start? Mm, thank you, Marianita. Go ahead. What? Wait, I don't have the image uh -huh. here. <laughs> and I asked to open the WhatsApp, right? Mm -hmm. Hi, Marianita. Because I'm in my phone. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh huh. That's why, of course. Well, while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. Uh -uh, again. While divers were working. Drivers or divers? Divers. Ah, okay. Do it again, please. <laughs> while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. Again. Teacher. While. I know. <laughs> <laughs> while while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. Very good, almost. But I want you to pronounce uh, because we have two off there, right? We have one with double F and one with one F. Yes. How you pronounce the one with double F? Off. Uh huh. And the one with one F? Off. Mm mm. Oh. Exactly. Of. Of. Mm -hmm. okay. So remember, <laughs> while divers were working off the coast of Florida. Well, dry, well, divers were working off the coast of Florida. Mm -hmm. They discovered a shipwreck. They discovered they discover a shipwreck again. Ah. Ay. All the phrases. <laughs> yes, all the phrases, because you said off instead of ah, shipwreck. Go ahead. Okay. Ah, teacher is on. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. Yay! That's the girl. Yay. <laughs> excellent. Ivan said, oh my God, we're going to be until 10 because of her. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, very <laughs> good. Excellent job. Good job, girl. Then may I have the second one, please? You too, Me? Marianita. Yes, of oh, okay. course. Of course. <laughs> Sorry. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped a kitty, kick, kick. What the fuck? <laughs> come on, come on, Marianita. <laughs> Marianita, what kind of language is that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I know that you got from there like, ah! and everybody's like me. Okay, I will help you with something. I know that that okay. one is really tricky because as our other... <laughs> <laughs> As the other <laughs> student said, uh, one of my previously class, uh, it, it sounds like a phrase of verb, right? Yes. But just you have to remember the rooster. Remember, kikiri kiki. Remember that, kiki. <laughs> so let yes. me read it with for you, and then you listen. Okay. As okay. Jake was running toward the ball, you see. As Jake was running toward the ball, you see, a little bit down, mm -hmm. he tripped and kicked it and kicked it and kicked kick it, it. too. You kick it into the wrong goal. You say kick it, kick it, kick it. Remember that the rooster. Kick it into the wrong goal. Gold. Very good. Do it again. Gold. You can do it. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. Okay. You see, I told you the rooster <laughs> works. Excellent. Great job, my man. So it wasn't it was not like what you said right at the beginning, right? Yes. <laughs> you see, with an extra effort. <laughs> You could do it. I know sometimes you're like ah, frustrated, like teacher. Yes, but I, <laughs> I, I want to make you like repeat and repeat and repeat, even though sometimes you want to kill me. It because guys, I want you to pronounce it correctly and fluently. So that's why. Okay. Okay. Thank so you. you no, thank you for <laughs> going extra mile and never give up. 
excellent job, my girl. Woohoo! And and don't get pissed off, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Don't get like frustrated. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, cool. So who's next victim? Sorry, next participant. Um, uh, yeah, what you have for me? No. Yes, there. Yeah, you can do it, my girl. If Mariana did it, you could do it. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry, okay? But don't say the same word, please, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <Yes>. <laughs> While divers were working off uh, uh, the coast of Florida, mm -hmm. they discovered a shipwreck. Very good, fantastic. What about the second one? <laughs> As Jay was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it uh, into the wrong wall. Yay! Very good, you see, the rooster helped. I told you, very good. I was like, wow, very good, excellent job. Very good, I'm so happy. All righty, yeah, I'm sorry, Marianita was the, the victim, sorry, the first participant. All right, but that was amazing, excellent job. You're welcome, job. everyone. <laughs> That's, that's, you see, that's why you came early, so I had to use you, my apologies. I'm just kidding, Marianita. I'm just teasing you. All righty. Uh, next, Vanessa. Hey, Vane. Welcome, girl. Hi, miss. Hi. Would you like to give it a try in the pronunciation of these two complex sentences? I don't like that. <laughs> ah, do your best. Don't worry. Marianita tried it like 10 times. I'm just kidding. Okay. She's I'm gonna scared. kill me, you know? <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you. You know I love you, Marianita. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. Very good. Next one. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the ground goal. Yeah, excellent. Good job, girl. <laughs> you see the rooster continue working. Very good, excellent, okay. very good job. Thank <laughs> yeah, thank you. Let's listen, Janet. Janet, what you have for us? Miss Janet. Okay. okay. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a ship brick. Mm -hmm. Next one, as please. Jake, as Jake was running toward the boat, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong wall. Yeah, very good, my girl. Excellent job. You're rocking. Wow. All righty. Iris, what about you? Thank you, Janet. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> you can do it. Okay. okay. White are diaper were working on the coast of Florida. They discovered a tree print. Okay. Second one. A Jake was running toward the wall. He tripped and kicked it in the ground wall. Almost the second part. I, I want you to repeat it the second part again. Okay. Half John was running toward the ball. He tripped it and kicked it into the wrong wall. Yes, very good. Okay, I didn't hear the uh, the first time into, but now yes, very good job. Uh -huh. Excellent, Iris. Excellent, excellent. Juancito, you want to give a try, sir? Juancito, the best. Come on, sir. You can do it. Okay. Uh, why Darber were working off the coast of Florida? They discovered a cheaper wreck. Shipwreck, very good, excellent. Shipwreck. Continue with the second one. As Jay was running toward the boil, mm -hmm. he tropezó y... He tripped. Uh, he tripped. <laughs> he got up into, into the wrong goal. Very good, excellent job. Very good, Juancito. Amazing. Sonia, what about you? What do you have for us? Why Why the birds were working off the coast of Florida, they Florida. discovered a shipwreck. Uh, uh, Florida, Florida. They discovered a ship. Florida. A shipwreck. Mm -hmm. A excellent. shipwreck. Very good, Sonny. What about number two? What do you have for us? As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and quickly it into the wrong wall. Very good. Excellent job. Very good, girl. 
Nadia, what about you? What do you have for us? Hi, teacher. Hey, let's Good listen evening. to you. Good evening. Uh, my Just your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. My turn. While, dri while drivers were working Divers, divers. Okay. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a ship Correct. Very good. They discovered a shipwreck. Mm -hmm. okay. The number two. One as, number two. As Jake was running toward the ball, mm -hmm. he tripped and he tripped. Kicked. Okay. He tripped and kicked. Kick it? it. Kick it? Okay. He tripped and kicked it in, into the rock. Gold. The wrong gold. Okay, the very good. Gold. Now okay. tell me the second sentence all together. Repeat the second sentence okay. one more time, Nori. You can do it. Okay. As Jack was Jake. Okay. Jake. Perdón. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked in into the rock wall. Very good, excellent. And last but not least, Mr. Ivan, very good, Noria. What do you have for us? While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. Mm -hmm. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. Very good, excellent. Guys, you are amazing. Wow, all of you make me feel happy. And all of you broke my heart. Hey, very good. I'm so proud of each of you. Well done, guys. Excellent. <laughs> that, Thank that, you. Yeah, this is one of the moments that I that I think, okay, it's worth it that I'm still waking up at 9 p.m. in the at night. <laughs> Just because of you. Yes. I'm so happy every time that I see your progress your improvement. I'm so, so happy. Yeah, you should be proud of yourself. You have done a really tremendous job. Excellent job, guys. Now, let's continue with our topic. What I'm going to do, is, guys, I'm going to send it to you to the WhatsApp for images. These images basically are regarding stories. However, I'm going to play a second audio for you guys, and I want you to take a look and let me know two things. First of all, which of the four pictures is not mentioned in the story? That is one of them. And second of all, other thing that I want you to mention to me is uh, which one is the story number one, which is the number two, and which is the number three, okay? And I just sent it to you the WhatsApp, all the pictures, you got it? Yeah, did you receive it guys? Yes. All yeah. right. Yeah. So that's the spirit that I need. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me check this one. Ah, yes. That's the one that I need. All right. So just let me share right now with you. First, guys, just let me know after you listened, which is the picture that is not mentioned in the story. Listening. In the news, part A. Listen to three news stories. Number the pictures from one to three. There is one extra picture. One. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. 
3. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. All right, guys, so tell me something. Which of the pictures that I share with you is not mentioned in the stories? Which one? Uh-huh. Uh, uh -huh. Which one? Uh-huh, the woman with the police. That means picture one, two, three, or four. Three. Three. three, very good. Welcome, three. Grecia. Yeah, exactly, number three. So now, guys, tell me something. You already have heard the three stories. So which is the first story that they talk about? About what? Snake. Which one? The snake. The snake. That means picture number four, right? Okay, what about it? What is the second story? The girl's lost. Okay. The girl's lost in the shore, okay. And the third story? The police. Police. Oh, mm -hmm. the police, they went to the river, right? And the thief okay. rescued him, rescued them. All right, very good. So now, guys, I will send you some information because I'm gonna, uh, we're going to develop the listening for details or specific information. So I know that you're going to listen again, the whole news, but I want you guys to focus on three main things for each story. So I'm gonna send it to you right now. Just allow me one moment. There you go. I will send you an example right now of what I want. Okay, send it to you. You can have it in Word. You can have it like in, I don't know, notepad or a piece of paper, a notebook, whatever. Just put one, two, three. And at the top, you have three categories, which is corresponds for two, three questions. Where did it happen? When did it happen? And what happened? You got that? Okay. So guys, while you're listening to this, each story once again, I want you guys to pay attention on the first story. Where did it happen? That means the place when that situation happens. When, the time, the date, okay? And what, what was exactly the situation, all right? That's what I want. So let me ask you guys, are you with me? Do you understand? Yeah? Bea, yeah, yeah. Grecia, Juancito, Iris, Pane, Janet. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Yeah. All right. That's the spirit. Come on, guys. All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Now you like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. She's the second teacher. <laughs> Very good, girl. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen with you. And let me play the three stories once again. Page 24, go. exercise five. Listening. In the news, part A. Listen to three news stories. Number the pictures from one to three. There is one extra picture. One. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. 2. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. 3. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. 
All right. So let's recap a little bit. Okay, guys, you said the number one was the snake one, right? So tell me, where where did it happen? Where? Um, Thailand. 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 Yeah. All right, all right. When? Sunday. Um, Sunday. 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 Okay, and what happened exactly? A snake. The it's quiz. Snake. Making the snake. The neck of a man, right? Almost like. <laughs> Can you imagine? But I don't know what he had in mind that put the snake around his neck, right? He might have boa, right? Or anaconda, something like that. I don't know what he was thinking about. Okay, but let me ask you: Did the snake struggle him or not? Luckily not. Luckily not. Okay. Lucky him. All right. What about? Uh, very good, guys. Number two. What happened with the number two? Where did it happen? Where? Australia. 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 All righty. When? Friday. 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 On Friday. Very good. Friday. What happened? Two girls. Two girls. Uh, two girls got lost. Okay. Where they got lost? In December. In Singapore. 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 Well, not in Singapore exactly. They were no. lost in Australia, right? It was Australia. But what happened? They were on, on where? Because ship. on the chip, on the cabin, ship. right? So they fall asleep. And what happened when they wake, when they woke up? They uh, notice. They notice, uh huh? They notice what? And that, that they missed the, their stop. Aha, uh -huh, that the ship was supposed to go to sing. The poor. Uh huh, so what did they do? They jumped. The they jump uh, and they started to swim. Hard. Mm. Until they arrive where? The shore. On shore. the shore. And then and the, the shore, but what happened there? They need to walk several days. How many days? You remember? Several days. Several days. Hey. Yeah, to get into the nearest town, right? Yeah. Wow, very good. Good job, guys. Excellent. What about number three? What happened? No, where did it happen? California. 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 Oh my God, I was said. California dreamers. Okay, very good. All right. <laughs> so, you no, know, I always know a song for a for, for a sentence. All right. Uh, when when did it happen? On Thursday this morning. morning. On Thursday morning. All right. And what mm -hmm. happened? An accident in the river. An accident in the river. What happened exactly? Who who got into the river? Who? The police officers. The police officers, exactly. And who rescued them? <laughs> Ironically. Ironically, uh-huh. The, uh -huh. the thief that the they thief. were chasing. Uh-huh, exactly. So so what did the police station did to compensate the thief because of what he had done? They dropped off the charges. They drop off the charges. He was lucky, right? <laughs> that was really good excellent so guys did you notice that um in every uh, listening part that we have been through right now we were using past continuous and simple past you see i just want you guys to listen how practical it is and you will become a really good storytellers so now guys we're going to work together Okay, but this is going to be so much fun because you got to use your imagination right now. I don't know what you're going to do, but you got to use your imagination. So I'm going to start right now, guys, with one sentence, with one part of the class. It could be simple past or it could be uh, past continuous. And each of you have to complete the idea. Okay, I will start with something, then I will continue, then Alejandro, like the example, right? Uh, you can use either past continuous or simple past until, guys, we made a whole soap opera, not like Mr. Um, what Gabriel Garcia Marquez soap opera. No, of course not. But, uh, but at least we're going, everybody, all of us, we're going to help each other to create a story, okay? Using simple past and past continuous. Are you excited? Yay! I'm the only one who's exciting. Come on, guys. <laughs> All right. You got to use your imagination. Yeah, Ivan said, <laughs> you see, like, like the cat that he put, like, okay, I'm past. <laughs> All right. Isn't it amazing, guys? 
Yeah, teacher. All right. So let me start, okay? Let me start right now. Uh, would you like me to invent a name or can I use somebody's name? Who can give me permission? All right. Let me double check. Use um, your name. All righty. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Let me use a girl. The last time I used a boy. So I'm going to use a girl. Grecia, can I use your name? To tell the story? Hopefully Grecia's here. Right? Um, Teresa? No, I mean, I mean, can I use your name to start my story? What? I don't understand. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe you, uh, were you here? No, no, right? You were like doing something. Okay. Today, uh, Grecia, we are talking, we have uh, learned during these days uh, how to use simple past and past continuous. When okay. we're talking about complex stories, when we're talking about stories, something that happens to us. For example, while I was working on Saturday, for example, a, my husband went to a barber shop, for example, something like that, right? Okay. So, so basically, uh, today we're going to put in practice everything that we have learned so far. And my instructions are that I'm going to start with one part of information. I'm going to say something and I will choose which of you will continue with the story? Okay, because we're going to, we need to make a whole story together. Uh, we need to put in practice either past continuous, yes, Janet, or simple past until we create a really good book. <laughs> are, you, are you with me, Gracia? Now do you understand? Okay. okay. Okay, we're going to do our best. I understand. Okay, now let me use your name, okay? To start a story. It's going to be a fun story. Don't worry. Okay. okay. So let me start, okay. guys. And I'm going to pick somebody else. Okay. Listen carefully. So please, guys, I want all the Microsoft on. All of them. Because I'm going to pick somebody and I don't want like teacher. Sorry, I'm, uh, uh, my microphone is not working. No way, babies. <laughs> so Juancito and Iris, Sonia and Nori, please turn it on. Yes. Okay. Everybody's ready. Okay. So let me start. Teacher. Yes, Gracia. Teacher. Only one one uh, point. Uh -huh. My son has four years and he uh, is with me. Ah, okay. That's okay. And, uh, he speak. He's. Oh, that's okay. He can help time. us. He can help us. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. He, he's going to be another student, so that's okay for me. <laughs> and he speak English more. <laughs> uh, he also does much better, but don't, uh, <laughs> but don't make him he help you, okay? Uh-uh. Okay. Don't help mommy. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so let me start. While Grecia was traveling to South America, <laughs> Ivan, continue. She remembered that she needed to ask permission in her work. Aha, continue, Alejandro. And, and then she. Simple pass. She called. She called. Uh huh. She called her boss. Uh huh. To to ask to ask them. No, to ask him mm -hmm. uh, if it was okay if she traveled to South America. <laughs> Aha, so South America or not. Okay, continue, Vani. Mm -hmm. Okay, and her boss, uh, he said no. <gasps> he said no, uh-huh. Uh -huh. he, he was very angry. He, oh my goodness, continue, Janet. But she didn't care. <laughs> continue. No, I'm just kidding. All right, continue, Janet. <laughs> she already on the plane. He was very angry. Uh huh. He she don't make her job. She don't make her, or she didn't. She didn't make her work. Ah. Uh, uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. Who was yeah. angry? Uh, Gracia or her boss? The, her boss. Ah, okay, her boss. Her, her boss was uh, angry because 
uh, Grecia didn't make uh, her work. Ah, okay, 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 got it, thank you. Okay, continue with the idea, Sonia. Um. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> So let, remember that, that the boss was that was wasn't happy with her. So and and she don't have permission for to travel for for to travel. She don't have what she didn't have. She didn't have permission for for travel for, for traveling. Mm -hmm. However, continue. Continue your idea, Sonia. However, she she she, she was she was uh, sad. She was what? <laughs> because Sal Salada? No. Sal. <laughs> she was Eva. What? Sad. 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 Oh, sad. 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 Uh, she was sad. Okay. Sad. All right. So continue with the idea, Bea. Very good, Sonny. Then she she cried. She cried. Okay. Of Very course. Much. Sad cried. Yes, of course. But continue. <laughs> uh, when she cried, she was crying. Uh-huh. Well, she was crying. Uh-huh. Uh, the... The... Her boss. Her boss. Her, her boss. Uh, <laughs> her boss. Her boss. Uh huh. Uh, Ivan. Ivan. Okay, leave it that way. Her boss. Ivan. Continue. Her boss called her back. Uh -huh, uh -huh, very good. Continue. Continue. Continue, and, Ivan. Uh huh. And he told her that he understand that she needed some vacations. Oh, so <laughs> Alejandro. <laughs> That's and then when she arrived at Argentina. Argentina. Oh, give me a full Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> Argentina, you Argentina. Yeah, she started to. She her vacation, oh, that vacation. Aha! Uh -huh. So she arrived to Argentina, right? Because we we didn't say a specific uh, country. We said South America. So Mr. Playtest picked Argentina. I don't know for what reason. Okay, <laughs> continue, Juancito. <laughs> Juancito, continue the story. Um, that's it. Ah, no way! <laughs> no, 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 that's it. No way. That is a okay. That is what we called in Spanish, like open-ended, right? <laughs> no close-ended, open-ended. That means Will like continue. Yes, leave it yeah. to the imagination of each reader, right? No way. Juancito, continue. I don't, I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything. Hey, the, uh, Grecia arrived to Argentina. So what did she do uh, next? Mm. She visited, I don't know, the yeah. study of the what? She was happy for the visit, visit uh, Argentina. Why? Why um, she was happy? But she know Maradona. She loved Maradona. She know. Ah, uh, she she knew Maradona. She knew. Okay. That was a past tense. Okay, she knew Maradona. Okay, continue, Iris. And so, do they have a romantic dinner? I don't know. Use your imagination. Um. <laughs> she knew Maradona. And and and, and eat a meal roasted and a sharp. Whoa, 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 continue with your idea oh, oh, no. in our studio. <laughs> oh, la idea es, y ella comió carne asada en espada. <laughs> ah, and, uh, and both of them have a grill. Okay, all righty. All right. <laughs> Was that a romantic dinner? Uh, yes. Oh my goodness, a romantic dinner <laughs> with Maradona. Can you imagine? <gasps> but Grecia, <laughs> she has a husband already. So what happened to I, her, Noria? I like the idea for it. 
el de Grill, but no with Maradona. Ok. <laughs> You're going to finish the story, ok, gracias. I know, hold your horses. <laughs> You're the last one. Ok, very good. So, Noria, Ooh, continue. Maradona. Yes, continue with the idea, please, Noria. Ok. Um, she... Maradona, ok, real. Maradona. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He died. Um, <laughs> he passed away, yes. No, it's my teacher. No, it's not. I'm not her mama. <laughs> <laughs> you are so sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Hey, don't worry. <laughs> Continue with my. Bye. 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 Okay. This day. Uh -huh. This day. Um, que this day del permiso. ¿Cómo se llama? What? Permiso. No, but you were with Maradona. He was with Maradona. With Maradona eating grill. So what happened next? Uh, it's imagination. No, it's, no, it's real. It's real. It's real because she went to the to to Argentina, yes, and met Maradona, and they have romantic dinner together. So what happened after that? Oh, um, continue with the story, she, all right? Because okay. this is getting excited. Yeah, uh, this day with Ma Maradona. Uh huh. Um, it's raining. It was raining. It, it, oh, uh -huh. well, it, it, while it was, they were having dinner with Maradona, while well, she was having dinner was with Maradona, raining. okay, it, um, started raining. Okay, she was uh, walking with Maradona. Oh my God! In the rain until ah, oh, okay. very romantic. And they, it, yeah, and then you rain the ski fall and all okay. that. <laughs> da, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right that, and they were like, uh, but, oh my goodness, it was, he uses her imagination a lot, right? Okay, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have, I already noticed that. Continue, Janet. <laughs> and what happened yeah. after they were walking uh, hand to hand, right? And raindrops keep falling on their heads. Okay, what happened next? Um, mm -hmm. When they was walking in uh, under the rain, uh -huh. uh, he get a bad hairstyle. He got a bad hairstyle. Yes. Okay. And Maradona go room. And Maradona what? Se fue corriendo. Uh huh. He yes, ran away. Yes. He <laughs> ran away because of he looks. She looks like. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she is scared to think. Oh my goodness. Oh no, that is not being a gentleman. So continue. Yeah. What happened after that, Beatrice? <laughs> Mm. Mm. Yes, continue. <laughs> Use while or past yeah, continuous. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes. Yo, okay, Juancito, go ahead. So, what happened, yeah. Juancito? He running, tripping in the kitchen, it into the wrong wall. So he was he running away from her. Yes. Okay, he was running away yeah. from her. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? Bear. Juancito already helped you. <laughs> Imagine Maradona running away from her because she had a really bad hairstyle. So what happened? No offense to anybody, okay? No offense to anybody. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about you, Ivan. Come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine that Ivan is Maradona. Get just your imagination. <laughs> okay, so there. Uh, he, he, he ran was, away from her. Uh huh. Uh, so he was what? He was. Huh? He was. He was. He was what? He was. Uh, uh, how do you say peinado? Oh, Maradona was... or her? Maradona. Maradona was what? <laughs> eh, co combi? Combin. 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 Uh -huh. His hair. Uh -huh. And eh, um, his he... hair or hair hair? Her? His hair. Uh, the, uh, Maradona's hair. Yeah. Okay. And he was he he was 
happy. He was happy. Yes. Okay, he was happy. Why he was happy, Ivan? <laughs> okay. Smoke, Iwana. Huh? Why he was happy, Ivan? Oh, you see? Yeah. Because he was playing football. He was playing football after he was after after he ran from her date. From yeah, his day, sorry. Because he, he, football is, is his passion. Exactly. Mm. So finally, after Grecia, eh, or after Maradona broke Grecia's mm. heart, she returned she back to El Salvador. So Grecia, what is the end of the story? You are back and, in El Salvador. So what happened to you next? And, re and return with my ex-husband. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now yes, Juancito. What's the phrase? <laughs> Juancito, she finished the story. So what's the phrase? Juancito, exactly. That's, That's it. it. Yay, very yeah. good. <laughs> Bravo, guys. Excellent job. You have to use your imagination. Congratulations. <laughs> but there were so drama, right? Oh, come yeah, on. Kind of weird, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was kind of weird because everybody had to. <laughs> Your imagination, right? Teacher, yes, Janet. When, when, when this is story, my husband looks very angry. Why? <laughs> <laughs> really? He all the story. <laughs> Was he with you? <laughs> oh my god no but we were reinventing uh, we're playing come on yeah it's another it was another Maradona, <laughs> he, he's dying yeah he passed away already but we pretend that he was still alive okay in the meantime <laughs> this guy you know what the other guys uh, invented that they that uh, that uh, i was the other guy another guy i ride to peru and he mm -hmm. visit and he visit a, a relatives Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Yes. And then he met another girl and they dated. And finally he got a phone call from his real original wife <laughs> asking about where he was. Okay, you cannot imagine the other story was a huge, oh my God, a huge soap opera. That was a soap opera by heart. <laughs> hey, that was really good. Great job, guys. You did it. I know it was really hard, right? Not not just to like continue with the with the idea of the story, but also to think fast and try to use the past continuous and the simple past. But let me ask you, do you like the activity? Yes. Yeah, yeah right? Yes. Yeah, because we need you. I want you guys to notice that every time that you're talking about something that had happened to you, no matter what time of your life, but you gotta use the two bird tenses and you must guys use both of them in order to uh, give a good storyteller so i want you guys to get used to it and also try to practice all the knowledge that you have so this is what i'm going to have uh what i'm going to ask you guys for homework for tomorrow okay so mm -hmm. you can have it like um two paragraph four lines per paragraph in total eight lines that's okay at the most okay but what i want you guys is to tell us a little bit story you can invent it or it could be something that real happened to you doesn't matter but uh, we're going to pick guys which of the stories that you share with us is the most interesting okay we're going to evaluate that but besides that Guys, I'm going to evaluate a lot of things. I'm going to evaluate pronunciation, fluency, vocabulary. Okay, I don't want you to say it. And then, and then, and then, and then. No. Okay, and then. No way. Yeah. What I want you to No, because you got to use a lot of linking words. Like, first of all, for instance, next, after mm -hmm. all. All the stuff, all of them. And finally, right, like, like that, right? Okay, so guys, I want you to use as much of vocabulary that you have, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to let you know something. I don't want you to come here and, and read in front of everybody. I don't want that. No. No way. I don't want that. <laughs> I want you to be like English corporate reporter, right? Oh. 
Hey, this is Alejandro. Today I'm going to talk about that something that happens to me yesterday. You know what? And you just start talking like that, right? <laughs> Not like that, right? Of course. But I want you guys to tell us a story face to face, okay? It, that's why it has to be simple. Don't complicate your life. But I want you to, to I want to see how confident you feel with yourself talking in English. Okay, how confident, Oof. how sure about, about you are about that, okay? So don't feel nervous. Okay, of course you're going to feel nervous. I understand that. But um, try to do it as simple as possible. And don't read it. I want you guys to tell us face yes. to face. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> no, Noria. No way. <laughs> So, I, so for next class, oh, I want everybody and everybody to turn it on the camera. Yes. Okay. To turn it on, not off, on. <laughs> on Juancito. Yes. <laughs> I will decide whether we, everybody said the story in front or where, where I put, what I make like, a, like a small groups, right? Between two or three people. Maybe you feel more confident between just you instead of the teacher that is there, right? So you can like uh, tell between each of you, you can tell the stories, okay? So don't worry about that, okay? I'm going to decide which one will work better for me, okay? So I, I told you guys that you have two options with me, or I speak, or I speak. Which one you prefer? Speak. <laughs> speak, right, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Don't feel nervous, right? And don't tell me, yeah, teacher, I forgot the homework. No way. That is not an excuse for me, okay? Don't, don't laugh, Juancito. <laughs> no, please, it has to be small. It could be a small, okay, small. It could be one paragraph, that's okay. But please use it correctly. I'm not going to evaluate grammar in writing. I'm going to evaluate grammar in speaking, okay? So you know what I'm going to evaluate? I'm going to evaluate a lot of things. Ay, come on. Also, you can find a story in Google. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Google doesn't know everything, OK? <laughs> yeah. So you see that it's easy peasy quiz here, right? Yes, OK. okay. Yeah. Yes. Easy peasy quiz. Easy peasy quiz. Yeah. yeah. And so hopefully everybody will be here tomorrow. Hey, guys, hey, this is our last week. So we got to go an extra mile. We got to do yeah. our extra effort. It's only two more days and then we're like free to go. Right? Vacations. For you, <laughs> not for me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, only for you guys. Yeah, so do your best. And please try to work on the platform, okay? And if you still hey, have Ted. any doubts, I'll help you. Yes, Juancito, uh, go ahead. If, if you working, only working, that means more money. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Every know. Hey, guys, I'm talking about that, Juancito. I'm so happy to see you guys and to see what you have done today. I'm really proud of each of you. I'm really proud of each of you yeah. because you. Uh, it shows your commitment. You're willing to help, to learn, and you're putting an extra effort. And that makes me like say to myself, I know, I know that it's almost 10 p.m. And you were, you'll be awake since 6.30 a.m. in the morning. But you are in front of these guys who are like doing their best. And when I see you guys, your improvement, that you participated and that you put the best effort or the best of you, that makes me feel happy. And that mm -hmm. makes me feel that it's worth it. That it's worth it. I'm here in front of you. Thanks because you're for doing everything. your best. Uh, no, thank you so much. So that's why I know that sometimes maybe you want to kill me. Yes, I understand that perfectly. <laughs> so do I. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah, no, but you know what? Every time today you did an amazing job. Very good job. Very good job. And because you're doing your best. So every time go an extra mile. Do your best and never give up. Okay? Never, never give up. 
If you're here, it's because you're doing your best and continue being that, okay? okay. So please, okay. I want everybody to be uh, here next time and that means tomorrow and don't say teacher i forgot the hunger because i will never say yes <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay guys so and kisses have a lovely bye. night bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.